What's good, YouTube? It's your boy BG Tech Life, and today I want to talk to you guys about the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra after the hype. As far as this device go, I consider this like a Galaxy Note. And I've been a Note user. I said it a whole bunch of times, and it still remains true. If I was only to use one device, it would be that Galaxy Note, that S23 Ultra ultra device the biggest flagship that samsung offers that's not affordable i fall in that category i use a flip but as far as the fold go as far as the phone to a tablet i'm not hooked on to that form factor yet so i just like a slab of glass form factor for now you could look at me as a traditional guy this device after the hype it changed a lot of minds because at first, this device was under attack. And I say it's under attack for two reasons. Samsung dropped this device under the pretenses of all these trading deals. They've been doing trading deals for years. Good trading deals stopped. And that kind of overshadowed what this device was, how this device worked, was it a good device or not. People just focused on the trading deals and they couldn't get the amount of money that they thought they were supposed to get before for their devices for years prior to or that Samsung S22 Ultras or S21 Ultra or Flip or whatever they was coming from, the trading deals and the values and that hash traders was there. And that was the big thing to talk about instead of the device itself. But the design, if you want a new design every year, nobody really does that because sometimes you do have to focus on the internals. You do have to tune the device in and you can't do both at the same time within the year. That's a lot as far as engineering and the mechanics of a smartphone go. So this year they really worked on the internals and I feel like it worked out best for everybody. But once folks use the device and you have to shout out Snapdragon for this because the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 took this device in a, the right direction. So last year when it was S22 Ultra, Pixel 7 Pro, a lot of devices were having battery life issues. They was almost there, quite wasn't there. Battery life became a big issue. S23 Ultra battery life because of the, the efficiency of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 on point. Seven, eight hours of screen on time. Stuff that you didn't expect from Android devices, especially a big feature pack device like a S23 Ultra to have. Then on top of that, thermals. This device has never overheated on me. At the most, it just barely gets warm. Like thermals, battery life, performance was super dialed in on this device compared to the S22 Ultra. My God, it came from an S22 Ultra. And also, this device wasn't able to live because people couldn't separate this device because of the looks from the S22 Ultra. Yes, it does look like the S22 Ultra, but the S23 Ultra is something completely different once you start to use it, and people realize that. So it really took this device a week or two for it to be out, people to use it and realize how everything on internally made this device so much better than the S22. Now, was there a need to immediately sell your S22 Ultra and get an S23 Ultra? No, the S22 Ultra is still a great device, but there is a difference, and I'm not gonna say it's not a small difference, it's not a big difference, but it's a difference between the S22 Ultra and the S23 Ultra as far as performance, as far as battery life, as far as thermals. When you sit back and you just look at the S23 Ultra as its own phone, it's one of the best Android phones on the market. Even though it's a little expensive, guys, it is a little overpriced. I'm not gonna say it's vastly overpriced. The price was the focus because of the trading deals. But me, I'm happy I was able to get a device for $12.99 with 512 gigabytes of RAM because of the free RAM upgrades that Samsung was given. A, a S23 Ultra, top of the MOOC, super feature pack device with a half a terabyte on board for 1200 i'm not complaining i wish it was a little bit cheaper but i can't see it being much cheaper when i just go to apple and give them a thousand dollars for my 128 gig iphone 14 pro if you really look at the market is inflation all over the place but yes, this device is expensive, but not as expensive as people made it seem because they was disappointed with the trade-ins. When you look at the phone straight up and down for value, yes, it's a little expensive, but it's not just this grandiose, ridiculous price compared to the amount of technology and features that you get. This is the ultra for a reason. If you don't use the 
features that make it this expensive they have a s23 plus and a s23 that are really good but just as this phone stands alone it's got a great display one of the best displays on the market 120 hertz it's got one of the best camera systems on the market like rivaling with the iphone it's hard for android devices to compete with iphones for overall camera system front facing camera rear facing camera 4k 60 frames per second and they have upgraded the camera science so you get in a more realistic picture but at the same time guys this device has expert raw so you can really put the touches on your picture that you want if you're a photographer you can really play with these pictures and you can go against the color science of this device and kind of fine tune and edit the picture that you want but as far as autofocus straight out of the camera most situations nice situations you're going to get some great pictures with this device and the video is top tier for android you can get usable 8k from this phone a lot of phones can't do that you can actually get usable 8k 30 frames per second after the hype i'm enjoying my s23 ultra is my go-to device for android is my go-to device when it comes to creating content when it comes to creating thumbnails when it comes to answering emails when it comes to me just being creative because i like the s pen a lot i love to watch content on this device it's the biggest boldest most saturated screen i know everybody don't like that i like the vivid setting for the display and i like how that looks so with me i'm happy with my purchase all in all as far as this device goes but me myself i'm a high level tech enthusiast everybody don't need this device so if there's a lot of if you buy this device and there's a lot of features on this device that you do not use if you can't see 120 hertz or if you don't need a screen this big or you feel like this is too wieldy for you in hand there are other smaller devices that you can buy and i could understand why you feel like you overpaid for this device but i'm getting thorough usage out of every feature of this device and i'm getting thorough usage out of the 512 gigabyte upgrade that i got from samsung and we can't forget about the small change to the build in the device that make it super comfortable in hand i will always pick a device up like this over an iphone 14 pro max because they're the same size but an iphone 14 pro max will stress my hand because of sharp edges i like how samsung incorporated some round but straight edges on this device to really give you a good feeling hand so you can actually utilize this device without your hand being stressed and wanting to put the device down or you having to get just this super bulky case to give you a good feel in the hand with an iphone at the end of the day this is the ultra device this is not the device for everyone but me and my everyday use and how i utilize this device i love that samsung galaxy s23 ultra if you are super into your devices and you want to get the most out of them and you're a content creator and you want to make video you want to record videos and edit videos on your phone i would check this device out if this is too much device for you i wouldn't spend this type of money on a device if you're not going to get the bang for your buck use out of it i'm going to use this device until the s24 ultra this device is going to get make so many thumbnails for me it's going to answer so many emails i'm going to do so much with the s pen i'm going to take so many notes so i don't feel like i overpay because i'm going to get use out of it and this is my preference my preference may not be the same as everybody else's preference i'm just letting you guys know how i feel about the samsung galaxy s23 ultra after the hype it's your boy bg tech life i'm out peace